Phantom's match highlights are brought to you by Sovereign Installation Services. Right first time, on time, every time. Stepanek's a big lad. He is. I mean, six foot two without his skates on. Looks about six foot seven with them on. But last week it was fun watching some of the bigger imports from Sheffield just bouncing off him. And do so. Lovely interplay there. The, again, the, the lots of familiar faces. Great work. Number 40. Goal! Goal! Less than a minute on the clock. A goal for Peter Stepanek. Number 40. Phantoms lead with less than a minute on the clock. So Stepanek dances through from the right wing. Uh, places a shot looking like glove side of uh, Stevie Lyle and uh, that's quite a start and he undoubtedly will become a favourite Owen Griffiths 77 side of a swing and Griffiths oh saved by Lyle it's a real asset Martin Susters in there getting caught up two against two number 22 Ben Davis months loan from Brayhead I understand and he's passed into the slot Goal! Goal for Swindon, an equaliser with uh, 4.16 gone. gone and it looks very much like Tom Rookis. No, could be Whitfield, one of the two. Number 10, that's going to be Thomas Rookis. Yeah, it was Rookis. One all. We did well. It was interesting, we could see Nell coasting across the crease. He was taken out by the D-man. The puck went back to Rutkiss, who controlled it well before firing it glove side high, back of the net. Probably one of the finest goals I've seen for some time from the youngster. Norton keeps it in. Good work from Tom Norton. Little deflection. Pliskowski's shot may well have been high and wide, but uh, certainly got a deflection. Davis, lovely move on the board. Got, oh! Unbelievable save by Yanis Ozins. Superb work from Ben Davis and the shot came in. Open goals. The goal was gaping, Dan. That was absolute robbery by Yanis Ozins. He could see the pass coming across the crease. He had his glove up ready. The shot was taken. He was already falling towards it. But... From the Swindon Wildcats' point of view, into the corner, into the slot. A goal! Darius Pliskowskis! Again, another great goal. The puck was worked up nicely. We're just watching on the replay now. There you go. Well, we will watch it on the replay in a second. You can see the puck coming in. Sam Towner across the front of the crease. It's just played back. One time from Darius. And block a side high. Darius in the slot. Coming in from the left wing. Just need the music to stop now. So uh, I'd seen the uh, free call the hold and thought that was on Stepanek. But yeah, as, uh, as Dan's described there, we've got uh, four on four hockey. Bit of space out there, which should be interesting. Ferrara's on the blue line. Little tip from Paddy. Goal! Oh, washed out. Washed out. The puck went in off. The puck went in after the whistle, so the goal's washed out instantly. Key phase of the game here, folks. Hope you're enjoying the, the game. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Use the hashtag EPL Live. Fight in. Goal! James Ferrara fires the goal. It may have got a deflection. The Phantoms lead 3-2-1. It's a deflection. It's a deflection. We're just waiting to see who from. And it comes. And looks like, is that 67? Looks like Towner. No. Mark Levers. Mark Levers. 3-1 to the Peterborough Phantoms, looking down from our position on the gantry, Aaron Nell, 
giving very clear instructions. Ah, Lever's getting the second assist, with Scott Robson getting the first assist there. So, goal number three, Ferrara. Both Dan and I thought they'd go deflection from Mark Lever's in the slot, but uh, good pressure. This four on four on the blue line, Tom Norton. Goal! Norton! Okay, this is something we've seen from Tom Norton for a good three or four years now with us. You fire the puck up to him in the slot, and that's it. He's just going to lift it, block a side high, and it's a goal. And it's now five on five. Stepanek and uh, Kostel, was it? The Phantoms goal leading a charmed life. The Phantoms and Prisha. Whitfield a point, wraps around the boards into the corner. Uh, a shot there. Thank goodness, Beerbrayer. There was no one anywhere near him. Stepanek and Beerbrayer. However, if it hits the mask and then goes in the goal, then it's a goal. Okay, no, it's been washed out. So Swindon think they scored. Matt Thompson's washed it out straight away. Be interesting to see why. It's going to be a face-off. Ah, he's giving it a kicking motion. Matt Thompson washed the goal out for a kicking motion. Um, ben Davies really not happy with that result. Of the Phantoms defensive zone. James Archer off the boards, good play from Archer. And very intelligent play from Sam Towner. Here we go. Oh dear. Has had a good 20 minutes here in his home debut. Archer. Oh, it's a goal! I wish I'd been paying a little more attention to that one. Well, but... I'm going to say it's James Archer. People look like they're congratulating Darius Blaskowski, but I thought that might have been James Archer. Let's have a quick look at the replay. That's the blue line. Mark Smith. Yeah, doesn't just sling it in. Lots of experience. Big hit. Into the, uh, the slot. And good shot from uh, Beerbrayer. Pad save. Yanis Ozins. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go in this second period. And really, you can't take your eyes off the game. It's been a fantastic exhibition. Yanis Ozins would be, uh, would be uh, possibly a game-changer for the Swindon Wildcats. And uh, certainly, up until that uh, period of four-on-four four hockey in the first period, there, there was nothing between the two sides. And that's uh, a big challenge there from Aaron Nell. Got one or two young players out there at the moment, and that now to be replaced with some experience. I think Dan spoke to you earlier on about the uh, ingenuity with which Slava Kulikov was changing his lines and you oh and, ch and using the youngsters so there uh, Padalek had passed across the goal across the crease and Ferrara was on the edge here is Ferrara does very well to turn over the puck from the Wildcats and uh, the Wildcats eventually pick it up give it away oh dear me Paddy yep. Whitfield makes an attempt to um, hand blocks, the panic takes puck in, tries to centre it to, yes, and it's in. So panic centres it beautifully for Martin Susters to pick up from the centre, straight past Lyle, the goal is given. So, so Dan, I have a feeling it was Tom Stubbley. At the moment there's some consternation, the lamp is turned off. So, Stubbley or Susters? Um, it looked like Susters, it looked like the panic fired it to the centre and then Susters picked up, we're just watching the replay now, politely makes his way out of uh, Padalek's way, Padalek also giving him a little bit of space there. Oh that was a big hit, there's going to be a boarding call, but that's fine, it looks like... Smith. Yep. Okay, so Smith and Norton Norton holding him off. Smith wanting the fight. Norton not really wanting the fight. Norton's got his helmet on. Norton, yes, Norton's hitting him. Yep, yeah, looks like Mark Smith is getting some shots in, but Norton with the good early punches. Elsie's moved the goal out of the way. It's pretty clear that Norton is in full control of this fight at the moment. 
It's come to an end. The linesmen have stepped in. Looks like Sam Bullis wants to have a piece as well. Robbie Ferrara sensibly keeping them apart, although it did save Bullis from a third man in penalty. 6 1 to the Phantoms. There was a big hit there on uh, on Kyle Smith on the boards. He took exception to that. That would have been Norton. And uh, Norton really didn't want the fight. It was drawn into it. And, uh, and uh, the, as Dan said, the officials stepped in. And uh, we're going to see. Dan. Four and a half minutes to go. Good work from Padalek. Padalek on his own. Little move. Oh, Paddy. So close. Three seconds, two, one. Okay, guys, you can put it in the book. First game of the season. They've won their first home fixture of the season. And the Swindon Wildcats go and give their regards to their netminder. Phantoms match highlights are brought to you by Sovereign Installation Services. Right first time, on time, every time.